in this series of video we will be uh, covering android app development so we will be starting from introduction to android okay so what is android android is a linux based operating system designed primarily for touchscreen devices like mobiles and tablet it was launched in 2008 and now is owned by google so the android has evolved so much in these past year now uh, it is coming for various like uh, there is wear os android is coming for watches so it is a operating system just like windows and uh, mac os and, and it is based on linux so you have heard about ubuntu it is a linux linux operating system so android is like a linux based operating system okay so uh, each year android uh, releases a new version with a higher api level so you might be wondering what is api api is an application programming interface okay so it is a particular set of rules and specifications that program can follow to communicate with each other so what basically is api is it is a set of rules for the program okay the end user which is me when i am using an app so the end user sends a request when i send a request the api execute the instruction then get the data from the server and respond to the user so when i request the api requests when i request send a request the api executes instruction from the data from the server and get the data and respond to the user so that what api that's what api does so each year uh, android releases a new version with higher api level and as you can see the names of the api each year when it releases it is in alphabetical order and uh, uh, every time uh, it is a thing to eat so what is play store play store is a marketplace that has apps that we download and use all these apps available on the play store can run only on an android device okay so just like app store there is a play store where uh, when i developed a android app i will upload it on a play store and various people from different part of country different part of world can download and use it and they can only use it on an android app as it is an apk format okay so what is an android app an android application is a software application designed to run on android platform these are applications that we use in our day to day life so uh, all these apps like whatsapp facebook instagram these are these are all android apps and any app that you can think of that you use in your uh, mobile on daily basis is an android app so there are three type of android apps native app web app and hybrid app uh, about native app native apps are uh, native application is a software program that is developed for use on a particular platform of device so as you might understand that uh, like native app when a native app is developed for android it will be used only on android it cannot be used on ios because a native app is built for use on a particular device and its os it has the ability to use device specific hardware and software so uh, as the native app is built only for android app android device uh, it has the ability to use the specific hardware and software of the android device only okay so you cannot mix and match say you use a blackberry app on an android phone or use an ios app on a windows phone that that is not possible so the technology used to uh, build the native app uh, includes the native apps are coded using a variety of uh, programming knowledge some examples include java kotlin python swift objective c c++ and react the pros of native app are uh, because of a singular focus native app have the advantage of being faster and more reliable in terms of performance they are generally more efficient with the device resources than other type of mobile apps native apps utilize the native device user interface giving user a more customized experience so it is as it is designed for a, a specific operating system it has it gives a faster and better performance similarly uh, as it is developed for a specific operating system it gives a better user interface or customized user user interface
okay and we as we as i mentioned we can access the device features such as bluetooth phone book contact camera roll etc the cons are however the problem with native apps lies in the fact that if you start developing them you have to duplicate efforts for each of the different platform like i uh, when i made the app for particularly android then i have to make the app for ios with a different sets of code okay the code you created for one platform cannot be reused on other so this uh, higher ups the cost factor and the effort needed to maintain and update the code base for each version so uh, when i update a app on the play store and when i upload a app on a play store to release it and after one year or two year when i uh, didn't update it with the newer version the play store or i default removes the app so the effort is much more in native app but the performance is best okay and then every time i need to update the app the user has to download and reinstall it okay so uh, it takes a much more space and uh, as i mentioned update must be downloaded so uh, each app that we use today web app uh, whatsapp instagram all are native apps now we will go to the web applications a web app or a web application is a so application software that runs on web server unlike computer based software programs they that are run locally on operating system of the device so what it means is like it is a application on the web servers you might have seen the install option on the chrome browser so what it does is it is there is a web page it just installs in your uh, mobile phone so web applications are accessed to the user through a web browser with an active internet connection so the technology used are html5 css javascript ruby and similar programming languages used for web work because it's web based there is no need to customize the customize the platform customize to a platform or an operating system so this cuts down the developing cost we are going into the pros now uh, plus there is nothing to download so they won't take a uh, extra space maintenance is easier so we don't have to push it on play store but the cons but web apps are entirely de dependent on the browser used on the device there will be functionalities available within one browser and not available on other possibly giving user varying experience and because there are shell for website they won't completely work offline even if they have an offline mode the device still needs an internet connection to back your data on the device so we need an active internet connection and the apps may not always integrate with the device hardware so these are some problems with the web app another is hybrid app these web apps look and feel like native app they might have home screen icon responsive design fast performance even be available offline but they really are uh, web application look native so hybrid apps are essentially the web apps they have put in native app shell once they are downloaded from an app store and installed locally the shell is able to connect to whatever capabilities the mobile platform provides through a browser that's embedded in app so i can say the hybrid apps are essentially web apps put in a native app shell Hybrid apps use a mixture of web technology and native APIs. They are developed using Ionic, Objective C, Swift, HTML5, etc. Building a hybrid app is much quicker and more economical than native app. As such, a hybrid app can be maintain minimum viable product, a way to prove the viability of building native app. So these are quicker, cheaper to build, and they load quickly, and they uh, it has less code to maintain. The cons include lack of lacks power of native app so it lacks the basicity of native apps and they are slower and it contain features that might not be useful on some devices so how to choose the one so as we are going to develop a native app what what was the purpose of explaining you all these three types of native uh, all these three types of app the purpose was we have to choose a type of app which we have to build so uh, if we have if if we would have less time we would gone for web app or hybrid app but the performance we need the performance as the best and we have a lot of time and we could contribute to a lot of resources we would be going to develop native apps in this training so it provides best performance and all the apps you see around you 
including uh, Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook, anything. They are all native apps. So Android app development is the process by which the app is coded and created for devices running the Android operating system. And the people who code and create the app are called app developers. So at the end of this series, uh, you would be app developers. These are the image resources and how are we going to proceed? So firstly, we will look over Kotlin language, master it and learn all the things required. Okay. And then we will jump right into Android Studio to build apps. Trust me, the process will be much more fun. Thank you.